we were feeding her lunch and she was in her high chair and she kind of slumped over a little bit and uh, her right arm moved up and down a couple of times. We initially thought she was choking. So, you know, we got her out of the chair, tried the Heimlich maneuver, pat her back that you try and do for infants. My wife was calling 911 and I said, you know what, no, she's, she's breathing. I can hear her breathing. And it was actually the 911 operator that, that first diagnosed it as it could be a seizure. We brought her home. And as soon as we brought her home, she seized again. And then we brought her back to the hospital and she seized again at the hospital. And that was just one of the worst days uh, of my life. There was a time where she was seizing up to 17 times a day. We've been able to bring that down, but we haven't been able to get total seizure control. It's impacted her development. She's seven years old, but she probably functions a little bit closer to a three-year-old. So there's a lot of side effects that, that come with, with epilepsy. After she had her first seizure, we immediately looked up epilepsy charities and a cure popped up. The immediate attraction was, uh, was the four star rating of Charity Navigator, knowing that my money is, is going to a good place. As I started to dig in and, and look into the website, one of the biggest things for me was its mission. No seizures, no side effects, all our money goes to research. For a parent of a child with epilepsy, that's, that's what I wanna do. I understand that this may not help Ella, but if the work that we're doing here is not gonna benefit Ella, the next kid that is affected by epilepsy, the next set of parents that have to go through what we've gone through to not have to watch any more kids go through seizures. And yeah, I, I, think, I think of kids.